Hey there, gang. Getting us started tonight. Hey, Troy, I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Hey, Gally. Pretty good, pretty good. Getting ready to start getting back into life as usual. Um, no. Yeah, one of these days, soon, soon. Got my second shot last week, so now I'm a week away from being all set in. What's it like? You guys, you said you guys had an outbreak or something down there? Yeah, we can't. So basically, Australia stuffed up the uh, vaccine rollout. So yeah. we're, we're so far behind the eight ball. Ah. We're, the, we're the lowest vac vaccination rate in the, in the OECD. No kidding. Yeah. So it, like we, we were so far in front. Yeah. And now we've got something like 8% of people who are vaccinated. Hmm. So the country's gone into a, like hard lockdown again. Right. Um, so like everything has stopped. Is it the supplies of the doses or is it the mechanisms of the rolling it out and getting it into people's arms? Uh, a combination of both. We just right. never had enough. Like yeah. I tried to actually the other day log, uh, log in because it's like a website thing you've got to do when it, that it goes out to all the approved providers. Yep. And man, it, it's like weeks to even get in. Like six weeks for me to even go get a shot. Yeah. It's yeah. just... That's, that's what it was like. That's what it was like up here too. Um, yep. For a while, it was really, there's not enough doses. We can only give it to the, you know, the most at risk people. Um, and then in, it did kind of pick up here, at least if that's any consolation. Once, once the supply picked up, it did kind of, it did go pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just sort of self-corrected. Yeah. But that's uh, that's a kick in the balls. You guys were doing so well uh, yeah, for exactly. so long. Yeah. No, we've, um, the whole country is sort of um, giving it to all the politicians at the moment. Like, right. it, well, good. I mean, good. That's fair. Like, they've, been, they've been like fairly well hammered. Like our, um, yeah. uh, you call them, it's the, uh, it's the governor. So it's basically the state. Yeah. State, state based. Yeah. Um, they've uh, basically banned all um, construction. So hmm. even the, the tradesmen who are or the builders and the construction, they can't even do any work. So they've decided, so all those guys have packed up and there's a heap of them who've then gone out into regional Australia. And then, so now there's breakouts in country oh. areas never been, never been touched <clears throat> in the entire pandemic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. whole thing's just gone to poo, to be honest. Yeah, it sounds like it. So well, I've, been doing, I've been doing a shitload of study. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I have been doing a yeah, um, good, 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 man. You got to find that, right? Oh, yeah, because I'm stuck at home, so I might as well yeah. do it. So. Yep, that's right. Make the most of it. Yeah, you'll be busy again in no time, and then you won't have time to study, right? So exactly, exactly. Yeah. I, I'm the same, like small business owner. You know, like like when the work is there, it's there, and you got to fly. And when it's not, don't look at it as though work is slow. Look at it as that like life is fast and use it up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone forgets that part of it. Yeah. Like, when you're exactly. too busy, everyone wants a break. And then when you get the break, everyone panics. Yeah. Yeah. No, people got to take that step back and look at it in the big picture. Keith, are yep. you all, you're on mute, but I think it's just the um, Zoom setting down there that's uh, muted. Let me know if you're, there you go. Try that. So I, I missed the first part of that conversation. Uh, are you back under uh, quarantine again? Yeah, massive lock, hard lockdown too. Well, you guys ought to get the pitchforks yeah. and your bell and start <laughs> setting some fires. That's what we're saying. It's like eight percent of people. Um, yeah. So my hair's not this normally this. I long. was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't go out to go get to go get a haircut. I can't do anything. <laughs> Well, and unfortunately, that's not the only bad news that we're breaking tonight. Um, Rob uh, Washam is moving. He, he closed on his new house, and they don't have the internet set up there yet. And he is in the middle of driving his stuff back from Minnesota or something. So he's he's not going to be able to make it. He said he's not going to be able to get, he's not going to be able to land for another hour or something. 
Is he driving? Is he flying? I don't understand what's going on. Is he flying to he Minnesota to? and driving back? That must be what it is. What's that? Where did he move to? He moved to right across the border from uh, Las Vegas in Arizona somewhere. He's somewhere in Arizona that's like a hop, skip, and a jump from the strip. Uh, I can't. So he's, 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 oh, he's something like Bullhead City, maybe? Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like that. So close enough to visit. <laughs> so i'm excited for him he's he and his wife have been spending a little time just like driving around trying to find a place they like to settle down and they knew they wanted to get out of those minnesota winters so uh mission accomplished on that front i think mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. so i didn't want to just cancel tonight because he'd had to cancel the last session because sort of the same thing um and it was just at the last minute but i thought maybe we could just have a random little chat about the book study or book studying, or if, if people just want to call it and we could look at a hand or something, or I'm not sure we'll even share the recording if, uh, if, if, you know, if we don't really stay on, on subject or whatever, but I figured we're here. What, what do you guys, what do you guys feel like talking about or what do you want to, what do you want to get up to? Hey, I'm easy. Yeah. I'm easy. We could we could call it or we could talk. I'm I'm good either way. I know he's got plans for how to proceed with the chapter that we talked yeah. about. So I don't want to like pick we up where he left off. off. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to mow his lawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing I guess if you guys could at one point, hey Troy, if you're home bored. Um, at one point over the next little while, we just made a whole bunch of changes to the website. And mm-hmm. it would, if you've got some time, just go crawling around the different pages of the website and like different calendar events and forums and things like that. And just let me know if anything looks weird or if there's like, you know, if you have got any tips or suggestions, you know, not right now, but whenever. Um, when do these changes come out, Jim? Um, over the last few, over the last few weeks, um, some of okay. them are pretty, some of them like the homepage we just tweaked like it's got these little buttons up top and the calendar okay. widget there and stuff like that. But we also kind of, we really changed the calendar, the events page and how it, how it shows up different ways of sorting events and uh, different ways of like the event for the book study should link to both the group, but it should also link to the videos of past sessions Um we're trying to make it all kind of like flow together a little better. So it's easier for people to find the kind of stuff that they're looking for. So the one, the one suggestion I've had for a little while, Jim, yeah. is just to, with the calendar. Yeah. That you can press a button and it gives you the invite to your Google calendar. We have it. It's it, we did that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. I'm so excited. I got something I get to show you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so here's, um, all right, here's the home page. And let's go to home. The, okay. The event calendar here. Are you guys looking at the right screen? Do I have you on the right screen here? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So here's, home. here's, um, here's the book study, right? Events. I'm following along with you. It's going real slow for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah. That does happen sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. We did. We did like update. We did got. We got the, the sexy Ferrari hosting driver. So <laughs> I don't uh-huh. know if that's what it is. Um, so then here, right down here, right down here, Troy. If you can see, under these little buttons, Google yep. Calendar. Ah, uh, perfect. So if you hit that, it should put it right in your calendar, and uh, yep. and then that should be. You can also. If you click on see all, it'll bring up, I don't know if this will, I don't know if you can enter all the recurring ones in your calendar or if you have to go event by event. See all? Yeah. That'll bring up like all the future instances of that event. Here, I'll just go back. Oh, I see it. I found yeah, it. Right up yeah. there because it's a recurring event. So that's, um, I'm not sure if that'll, on the calendar front, if that'll help or not. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that I like is we, we've we got it set to default in list view like this just because it's easy to see what's coming up. But um, the month view, and it'll probably take a second to load. 
we did update it here so you can kind of see more you know i've seen that and it comes up every now and then i had to have no idea what i've been doing to bring that up ah that's it it's that toggle at the top between month view and list view month view list view yeah like next to find events up at the top here list or month hey right now i'm in my uh looks like i'm in my weekly view or something or my list view oh maybe i'm in my list view so where's the click where's the thing to the calendar here you share your screen um keith you uh share your screen up here and then i'll i'll see what you're all right, let's see here. I've got a couple of hands that we can have a look at too, if you like. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Uh, Troy, why don't you pull, pull one and we'll take a look at it. Yeah, so, oh, because you're in book study, because uh, you're already drilled, drilled. Yeah, click on that one. And that should take you to the main events page there. You okay, go. and there's my, there's my tabs, yeah. okay. Yeah, or you can just search by name, by find events yeah. there either, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I say, kind of play around, see, and like if you click on engage or premium, it'll pull up like here in the, um, that blue one, click on that. Yeah. So that's a category of event, like the home games or play. So if you click yeah. that, you'll get all the different engage events coming up in a row without all the other stuff. Um, so Mess and, uh, around with that and see if you can break it. I'd love for you guys to be able to break it somehow and show me how you did it. And well, you're talking to the it. you're talking to the biggest button masher in the history of. <laughs> I want it. That's the NH Industrial. I, I I used to do testing for the electronic service tool, the company's proprietary diagnostic <laughs> software. I tried as hard as I could to break that stuff. Yes. Well, that's what we need here. We need some stress yeah. testers. We need to, we need to find out where the because because people are going to do it by accident, and, and I'd much rather know in advance like what, yeah. what are the things that are going to be subject to that so yeah cool like for instance why is opa coming up under the premium tag see i'm already learning something here what are you into here i want to take a look at that now well, tag premium yeah the OPA, oh, it's because the um, event, it's the OPA yeah. event. That's what it is. It's not the video, okay. it's the event. That's right. So these are all the premium events. Engage. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that all makes sense. Sweet. You know, I still can't get stop thinking about that pocket queens. That's the hand we picked for Dara to talk about. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm still not convinced I made any mistake there. <laughs> you know, I was thinking it's, about it afterwards. The three bet size pre flop. It was the only thing I can think of is that if that pre flop three bet was larger, yeah. Then I think it would define it, it would it would make the stack to pot ratio different, which might make the sizing different. I don't know if yeah. that's what Zara is going to say, but if memory yeah. serves, like it, he opened to two and you put it to like five and a quarter or something like that. Five is that all? Because I meant to put it over th over three x. Yeah, but I must have I must have done my math wrong in my head then. I think maybe that's what it was because okay because uh, I remember. It, you were out of position because we were in the blinds right? mm -hmm. and it was a small three bet. I remember thinking, yeah. so I wonder if that's what it is. Uh, it's probably, it's probably where the, uh, the path of destruction started. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, and it wasn't from a, from a wrong idea in my head. It was from bad yeah. math. Right. Because I, because when I'm out of position three betting, I want to go at least three and a half. Yeah. So I must've just done it wrong. I think that's what it is. And we get used to having like the, the, the bet slider on poker stars or whatever. Yeah. And then we get into this poker now interface and it's not the same. And uh, that screws up a bunch of people like Woody kept yeah. putting the wrong bet sizing in last time because he was used to the, uh... were you there for that one, Troy, where Woody kept folding when he meant to raise or. Yeah. I was in the one where uh, it was the early stages of a tournament. Yeah. Everyone yeah. Was, <laughs> everyone was donk bleeding for one big blind and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's right. It was insane. <laughs> we've been using poker now to do a home game. Ah. We've, been, we've got seven or eight guys um, nice. who I play with locally are all doing it. Um, I'm the banker, so everyone shoots me their buy-in. Yeah. And uh. ring game. 
so much fun. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Oh anyway, yeah, so Keith, I, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what Dara has to say. But I think, yeah. and, and Chris is also going to talk about that one. I think. Um, okay. That, that was because no matter how you get to post flop, I think the post flop side of that is really interesting. And I don't know what you could have done differently to like play yeah. it better. At yeah, that yeah. If there's anything I've learned through harsh experience is that your pocket queens, when that flops an overcard in a three yeah. bet pot. You're in trouble already. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Especially anyway, that out of position. Like, I was ready to give it up on the flop, actually. I thought I'd take a quick stab at it and see what he did. <laughs> after after he called, I said, you know what? I'm done with this. Yeah. You know, because there were strategic considerations in the tournament, too. I was even throwing away that pot. I was still going to be the chip leader at that time uh, at the table. So okay. I didn't want to give that up for such a marginal spot. Well, what I viewed to be a marginal spot. And then the other thing I remember, because remember I, I time banked? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember th I, I was trying to go over bluff combos in my head. And I couldn't find any. Mm. Yeah. You know? And, and we, we remember, I remember in the booth thinking it wasn't a natural bluff candidate that he'd chosen either that second, yeah. second pair top kicker or whatever. Oh, I completely ruled it out in my head. Yeah. I, I, I figured if it's a nine or even a Jack, he's wanting to get to a cheap showdown. And I remember thinking that and, I, and yeah. I'm thinking, I want to get to a cheap showdown too. I think we're going <laughs> check, 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 check. Yeah. And he slams it all in. I'm like, what's this? What's, what, what's this? I wasn't expecting that. Come on. You know? He's got a king. I know he's got a king. Yeah. But, that, but, why, but why didn't he jam it in on the flop if he had a king? <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh, you know what? And that's another another thing in poker. If you just don't have any idea, just pitch it. Yeah, you know? it's true. It's true. You're obviously missing something. And a bad fold uh, is usually better than a bad call, right? Like, yeah. that's generally the way to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, yeah. it's funny. It's funny how these ones stick with us too, eh? Like that. Yeah. I, I could. I. I. I wish I could forget a few hands that I've never. Been yeah. Able to forget. <laughs> yeah. Now that one there, you know, because you know, I think if it was a cash game and we were deeper, I'd have probably called it. Yeah. Yep. No, that's, cash that's... game compared to a twenty is easy to reload, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, I'm sorry. What was that, Troy? You're, it's easy to reload on a cash game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this was it. We were, it was a bubble simulation, so it was about getting close to the yeah. bubble right. and like yeah, yeah, yeah. big so ice. Money involved, like yeah. money involves the whole bit, right? Yeah, so, for sure. Uh -huh. if, if you're the chip leader at the table, like I was at the time, uh, you don't want to give that up because <laughs> you're going to find plenty of good spots later to make money in. Oh yeah, you know? and, and and hammer the short stack and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. It's yeah. valuable. Yeah. It's yeah. valuable. Um, all right, cool. All right, well, uh, Troy, well, why don't you pull it? You said you had a hand to talk yeah. about. Well, how, 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 do you, how do you have it stored? Is it in Poker Tracker or something? Do you want to? Uh, I've got the video from Poker Tracker I've made up because I had oh, a, yeah, cool. a couple of mates. All right, see if you can uh, share the screen. I think uh, you should be uh, able you to. Cannot share, you cannot right. stop screen share. Keith, if you uh, stop uh, screen share, I, I can probably do it from here, actually. Hold on a second. Yeah, I don't see a button or anything. Where is it? Ah, here it is. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, Troy, you should be able to share a screen okay. here. Now, um, this yep. is a hand in. So, so I've, I've obviously shown the cards, right? Yes. So this is in the phone game. Okay. And so what I want to do, I want to talk about my, what I was planning to do. Yes. And what happened well, <laughs> uh -huh. this is in the this is in the rec poker uh nightly home game this is in the yeah um yeah. this is the final two tables i think cool something like that and keith was at my table ah all right which one i don't remember uh i don't know but you're at my table i went to ask you a question and then i was pretty much out not long after so okay um, <laughs> Uh, and then because right. we went on the break and you didn't see it, so here we go. So I'm just gonna, I'll just so yeah, just pause it as this time. I've got ace, obviously, this is me here with yes. ace three suited, one of my favorite hands, and, <laughs> my favorite mm -hmm. and then so, so oh, I'm gonna stop there. Yep, uh, oh, it didn't yeah. stop, that's okay.
So the starters, we've got, I've opened a 2.2. Is, is that right? Two yep. Point, yep. Yep. A flat, a three bet, which is on the small side of a three bet when there's it already is. been four, right? And then Especially I've got a, a cold call three bet. squeeze, yeah. Cold call three bet. Yep. Um, which puts me in a really weird spot. Now, does does do the other three players fold, or do one of them call? Yep, do, yep, do you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. So I'll show you. We go fold back okay, to me. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So there's my first decision. Yeah. I know I'm behind with a three bet and a call, but my, my argument here was it's not a big three bet. I'm more than likely going to be closing the action here unless this other person who's flattered behind me decides to get jiggy with it. And so if I just flat, I'm going to see a flop with pretty good implied odds, right? I know that I'm, I'm, I'm saying at this point in time, I am well and truly behind because I'm putting him on far better aces than I've got. Right. Or, or, or just pairs, right? So I need a pretty specific flop. Yeah, and I think here's what I'd be thinking at this point, and I think you've, you've hit this already. So the player to your left they've already kind of capped their range by not raising you in the first place. It's yeah. not like, it's not like they never have aces. It's like occasionally they do put a back raise in here, but it's yeah. very infrequent. Most of the time yeah. they have a kind of calling hand and they're going to close the action with a call, which gives you even better pot eyes, to be honest with you. Yep. Um, but, and, if they get, and if they get jiggy with it, I can get out of the way if it comes back around to me, right? Yeah. So, and you're right about the sizing. And if you look up at the top of the screen there, you can see the pot eyes you're getting. So you yep. actually only have to have 13% equity. And yep. even knowing how dominated you are, you still have 12% equity. Um, yeah. So even just looking at it from a straight pot odds, if, if you expect that the next person is going to call, that's going to bring your equity down. It's going to bring your pot equity, your, your pot odds up a little bit as well. So to me, I agree that you're, you know, it's a marginal call. I think if the flop comes an ace, you're probably behind. And, should if be flop, dead with an and if the right? flop doesn't come in ace, you're probably behind. So yep. you don't, you don't want to see an ace. You don't want to not see an ace. You really only want to see ace three or at least two diamonds, right? Like that's the or, only or a wheel or draw. the wheel. Yeah. Or the low wheel. Right. Yep. That, that sort of stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so I think that's right. You're treating this like it's a pocket pair. You have very, yep. very few outs, but it improves to the nuts. Yeah, and you have almost 10 to 1 implied odds, too. Yeah, yeah. All right. So there's our flop. Pretty good. Pretty good for me, right? Pretty good. So, here's my, so here's my plan. All right. With, with my stack at this point in time. I'm hoping one of these guys obviously hasn't connected with it. They, they've got either big cards like Ace King, Ace Queen, all that sort of gear. Someone, usually this guy with ace king should lead. I'm putting jacks, not on jacks, right? I'm putting jacks on like a pocket sevens pocket somewhere in the middle, just something very, very capped, not jacks. So my plan here is that ace king c bets, jacks fold, I jam. And basically I've got the nut flush draw, I've got a wheel draw, I've got stacks of equity, right? That's my plan. That turns to shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Now, does anyone have a problem with that plan? Well, I can't, I can't see how many chips you have at this point uh, just because of the way the... Okay, there we go. so you got a pot size bet. So let's just think about all the possible options, even though SPR, I think you've laid so out SPR a great... SPR is one. Yeah, exactly. No, actually, SPR is a little bit less than one. Yeah. Yeah, or a little bit because, more than one. Or, oh, yeah, yeah the effective, yeah, yeah, I guess. And the cutoffs got less too, right? So, yep, yep. Um, so I think you're right. I think what, here, Keith, what are some other things that we could try here? We could try just jamming. Um, That's what I, that was what came to mind. Cause then, uh, you're, you're uncapping your range and, and, uh, and they got something to think about, especially with this flop. They didn't connect with this flop. There's no way they connect. The only way they connected with this flop is if somebody's three betting or calling off a three bet with a four in their hand. Right. Yep. And, and, 
Yep. Like the, the Jacks here could have pocket sixes because they three bet. They, yep. they, they cold called the three bet, and then uh -huh. they want to see a deep flop. And MP1 could also have uh, pocket sixes or could have yep. like ace four of spades or something here. Um, MP1 is the one I'm really worried about, to be honest with you. They could have, they're the ones that could, they got the same good pot odds you got. Um, yep. So they could have those, but they could also have hands like two diamonds, which you would yep. love for them to have right now. Um, yep. So, yeah. So Sorry, what do you think? Okay. So my, my only concern about the check raise is that you're not really going to have a lot of fold equity by the time someone bets a quarter pot or a third of the pot when you come to check raise you're actually you're going to be putting them in a pretty trivial position where they are almost certainly going to call and then what's good is that you there's more money in the pot when you hit your diamond but what's bad is that they call some of the times that they would have folded if you had just open shoved so i'm not sure which is better? I think, given your hand strength, it's probably better. Yeah, I'm not sure. What do you think about the open shove? To just donk lead and just do an open shove? That, uh, that's, that's the other. That's what I'm thinking as an alternative. I'm I not sure. I, I can't that's... remember the last time I've ever donk lead. This is the part that's so foreign to me as to when to do it. When to actually? With these short play. stacks, it's more vi viable. It's more feasible because yeah. you can't. With these short stacks, it's all going in right now. So, you know, if you if you do it right now, if you jam right now. Maybe they'll fold because right now, what do we have? We have a bluff. Right. We have nothing. We have ace high. And we're behind so, on everything. Yeah. Right now, we're behind yeah. all the hands that they continued with. That's what's, that's what matters. They've got pairs and big yeah. aces, like you said. Yeah. So we're bluff. If we jam, hopefully one of them will fold, and then we we uh, get there with our diamond. And, and the, the best scenario would be with this dry flop, uh, with this static flop, they're, they didn't hit it, and they're just going to let it go rather than risk – like the cutoff is going to be putting his tournament at risk, and and actually MP MP two is uh, putting his tournament at risk. He's, he's putting half yeah. his chips. He's going to yeah. If I clean him up here. Plus, yeah. He's stack. Plus yeah, he's, we've got we've got the ace of diamonds too, so that yeah. helps us think about like the odds of our opponents having that that other kind of hand, which is another kind of hand that they might be like bluff sea betting with or something here but here's yep. the thing troy if In we had if we had pocket fours or pocket sixes or six four i would say do not shove here right but because we only have ace high uh, because we don't have as strong a hand we and, don't have a made hand right yeah and and and, and we're we're, tar we're bluff targeting you called this right from the beginning you said they have big aces and pairs so if yep. we can get either a big ace or a pair to fold, that is a awesome outcome for us. Um, okay. And when they don't, we get the diamonds in our back pocket, you know, a quarter of the time or however you want to think about it. Um, yep. So then the only real question is, do we want them to bet first or not? I think if we were much deeper, we'd want to check and then raise shove here. Um, and I don't. I still don't know if I like the check raise or the or the open shove. But those are the two that I'm thinking about right now. Okay. Are we cool to go see the, see what happens as this? Yeah. As this I'm guessing unfolds? it gets out of control. <laughs> as this circus unfolds. <laughs> I, I think um, Keith, you were MP. Okay. So the, this one oh, here. We've got an attendee. Oh, Eric Anderson hasn't been waiting for too long. I just. Okay. Well. Okay. So, leads out Ace King does the uh, pet vet half pot bet. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Here, Troy. Just, just one sec. Hey, Eric. I don't know if you can hear us. I'm sorry if I kept you waiting in the lobby. I had the wrong stupid screen up. That's on me, buddy. But uh, we're just going over a hand from Troy here because uh, Rob couldn't join us for the book study. So. Now you're you're caught up. Let me know. <laughs> Jump in anytime, or feel free to just hang. Good to see you. All right, sorry, Trey. So, you're and then right. we get the show. Right. So half pot. Jacks get it in. Yeah. Now what do you do? Right. So, right. I, and then so I, I fold, right? I I mean I think you prob well well hold on I mean. Ugh. It's it's I'm hard because I'm we're getting correct odds, but we're also in a. Place and where we're putting our tournament at risk. That's right. 
So I'm getting the odd, like, th- in, if in a vacuum, I mean, getting the correct odds to press call and be, be happy to pack up and go home. Yeah. Or, but it's borderline, right? I, I'm not as if I'm getting great odds to call. Right. Yeah, I mean, just if, if, if they flipped their hands over and you could see what they had and you looked at this, I mean, you would you would have to call because a 5% edge is too good to turn down, I think, in this spot. Like, especially if there's a chance that MP is going to, well, I don't know. When you've got the nut flush, it's just such a different position than if you had, like, pocket eights right now right yep yeah so, I, do you, so you do your call i don't know i mean i look at it and i think no of course i fold but but now that we're thinking about it i mean you are just supposed to make the right decision like just make good math decisions even if they make you uncomfortable sometimes right yeah yeah um, so i probably so keith I, I, do i get i get i'm getting right pot odds right yeah so the question is, is do you call for your tournament life knowing that someone there has definitely got an overpair? So yes. I can't hit you in, and if the guy, and, and my ace is more than likely dominated. So because uh, the, the only person who can have aces in this whole hand, even though I block it, is MP1 plus two. Right. Because the cutoff, flat it. Yeah, they definitely would have. They definitely would have yeah. shot. So the there. aces are only there. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. And the, the, the jacks could be pocket sixes, right? Even though it's not, it's, yep. hot, it's unlikely. Yeah, that's true. Sixes, like, and, and I do think the other thing is MP1 hasn't folded yet. And no. they, and they, they are the one that I'm kind of worried about having a six or a four or having a four or pocket yep. sixes more than anything. But again, it happens at such a low frequency. Yep. So I, I followed it. Yeah. You know, that's not a, a terrible decision. That's that. No, I think because it must... it, yeah, your 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 position of the tournament's important. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks like you're about average on this table, and you still got a fighting chance in this tournament. You know, and you you get you don't want to put your tournament life at risk in these kinds of marginal spots. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if this was a cash game. Man, you're jamming it in so fast. You, you, one right. hand can hardly hold the other one back. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, in a tournament, you, you got to have second thoughts about this, I think. Yeah. And calling is just such a gross way to lose. Like, I don't mind yeah. losing a tournament when I put a big shove in and I got called and then the cards went out and so be it. I just, I hate calling and losing like i think just anecdotally it hurts more um but but it's like yeah i don't know eric are you in this situation like do do you feel the same kind of queasiness when you're faced with because this spot is kind of gross for for troy here when all these people are kind of shoving in front of him even though he has what he feels like might even be the best hand to me it it would be table dependent if they're been shoving a lot then i would probably call mm, great point yeah are these shovey players right like yeah that's a good point yeah, but it yeah. is it is a horrible <laughs> spot <laughs> eric eric did you get here on time to see that this was a three bet pot no 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 yeah. I, I left him i left him out yeah. in the cold for quite yeah, a while so did he, um, <laughs> call the three bet yeah. yeah makes a so difference it's it's a it's an interesting hand right yeah so yeah I got out of the way and, um, hey put this away. one post this one in the forums troy i'd love to yeah. see what's when we people people had a little more time to break it down i'd love to see what um now i bricked right but and that was the outcome right well not, good not f- worrying about exactly how it worked out right no, <laughs> that's right i was gonna say yeah good fault <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like a yeah what, what the oracle has just worked out yeah. this, <laughs> uh, it's uh yeah so i don't know whether i should have or shouldn't have but, honestly so. i don't either i don't either i don't know if it's better as a flop shove and then when it comes around i don't know if it is a call or a fold i don't know i just don't know anything about poker poker is really hard 
<laughs> but yeah, post that in the forum because I bet um, Chris or ARW or uh, Taylor or somebody or or me when I'm not live on video because I can't ever do math live. Made a promise to myself. Don't do it again. <laughs> never again. No more math live. Um, uh, yeah, because I'd be interested to see what happens when we break that down. Cool. Um... So Eric, we were just saying that Rob Washam is in the middle of moving across the country, and he was not able to get all his ducks in a row to be able to host the book study tonight. So we're kind of uh, just winging it on a little impromptu. Okay, I kind of, I kind of gathered. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You may I have noticed. He was okay. He's okay then. He's yes, he's okay. okay. Yeah, and I know yeah. he had to cancel a couple weeks ago too, but it was the same thing. It's this moving moving uh, logistics and stuff but um he'll we'll be here in a couple of weeks pick it back up again with chapter seven or whatever we're on good because i'm be i'm behind anyway i need to catch up i'm behind too good <laughs> don't tell him don't tell rob <laughs> <laughs> oh all right well i guess uh is there anything else i've is got one more oh yeah right, well, yeah i'll do one more and then yeah. Okay. And, and, and Eric, uh, I asked these guys too the same thing. If there's any feedback about the book study or other programs that we're running, we just made a bunch of changes to the website. Um, I know you're, you're crawling the site from time to time. If there's anything that uh, you're looking at, that's like, huh, that doesn't really look right. Um, don't be a stranger, man. Let me know. Cause we want to, okay. we want to spend a little time this summer getting everything just right. Okay. Cash going. Okay. Right, so this is GG. This is the hand history from GG. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. So you can see I'm Chapo. You're so in the big I'm line here. One yellow. So there yeah. it is. There. Okay. I lose, I lose the hand. I'm in the I'm in the big blind. Oh, so brutal. Yeah. Okay. It's it's a brutal hand, right? Yeah, that is brutal. <laughs> oh I, I man! Two, okay, I flopped top two to a set. Yeah, right. So that's it's not supposed get to happen. Yeah, it's not supposed to happen. Right? Yeah, that's I not fair. The, I keep the bins over. Don't worry. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's a cooler. We get them as often as they get us. Yep, that's yeah. right. That's right. But my but my part that I thought was interesting was um, whether or not I overplayed it. Mm. Right on turn. Because it's all in by the turn. So what happens, it goes, I, I, I flat in the big blind, whether I don't know that's a great flat either, by the way, with King yeah, Jack suited. Six-handed from an early position raise. And, and it's three-way at the flop, a three-way pre. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could have been, it could have been a, uh, probably a 4X, 4.5X raise pre. Yep. And then it knocks out the button. It doesn't change the outcome of the hand. No, uh, and you know it's the kind of hand that I don't mind. It's a good candidate for a three bet, but it's also a good candidate to just realize your equity too. So yep, yep, but and yeah, I close I, the action with it. Yep, right. But good for and you for so, thinking about that squeeze because that is a good spot for a squeeze. Yep. Um, so I check, um, and our eventual winner bets, and he bets about um, he bets what. About, about half, half pot. pot, yeah. Yep. Now I go just a simple click back raise. Well, right? no, the you button folds and I click back. I don't think you do click back because the bet. Uh, sorry, four, six. I might have been sixty percent a pot or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a pot yeah. size relation. Sixty percent, right? Yep. So he then he, he then flats. So I've now got the initiative. Mm hmm. Are we still right. are we on the flop now or yeah that's still yeah, flop in the middle here in the middle okay here. So, so scroll scroll back up I for check. me uh let's just see the see the action again here so king jack eight rainbow yeah uh, king jack eight rainbow you check raise got it i check raise to about 60 percent of pot yeah he calls and he flats as he does with his set Turn right. comes a brick for spades. Turn comes a brick, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now that there's a flush draw involved, I'm still pretty happy. There's a lot of cards that I'm thinking that he's going to want to stay around with. He's got mm -hmm. ace jack, ace king, um, ace king suited, ace oh, jack yeah. suited. Plenty We'd of love cards. Love for him to have ace king right now. Yep, yep. Um, there's a heap of stuff. So I'm sitting there going. So I bet 
um, what's that work out to be? Uh, so, about sixty-six percent of pot again. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, two thirds. Right, and he raises. And that's the click back. He he clicks yeah. it back to you. Yes. And then you've got four bucks behind. Is that what that is? Okay. Yeah, this so, is five dollar no limit. Right. So it's it's another buck fifty to you, and then what you've got back. I see. I see. I see. So the question is, when he then bangs it back at me on the turn, right on the click back after I've already showed strength over here with a check raise, I've mm -hmm. then let out. Mm -hmm. On that sort of board, I don't know. I don't know at that point in time. Are we just happy to get it in? Are we? He's still got pocket jacks, pocket kings, pocket eights, ace king suited, ace jack suited. He could have queen ten. Um, these are all the things that are going through my mind. Oh yeah, he could have king eight. He could have jack eight. You know, like yep. he, you, we haven't eliminated a lot of the two pair combos that you're crushing. Yep. Um, yeah, spades. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And I yep. and I do uh, think he, uh, ace ace four of spades, something like that. Yep. Yep. Um, and you're blocking those, you're blocking those sets of jacks and sets of Kings. So he doesn't have as yep. many combos of those as he does of some of these other hands. So, I mean, it, it is a strong play. You've recognized this perfectly, Troy, when you check raise the flop, yep. him, him raising the turn is a very strong play. So yep. I would be thinking, is this opponent, what kind of mistakes does this opponent make? Because that's how I think about poker. I would be thinking, is this opponent someone who's going to overvalue their hand here with a one pair hand or a worse two pair hand than mine? Because if they are, they're going to treat it like the nuts and raise your strength, just like they are with their sets. And you're yep. beating way more combos of those um, than, you're, than are beating you. So if he's that kind of mistake, if he's that, that kind of player who a lot of recreational players are, they're going to overvalue like bottom two pair on a hand like this. Yeah, or ace king. Even if he's got ace king, he might play it. Yes, and so I think yeah. I think you kind of fist pump, get it in. To be honest with you, just get it in, high, high five the dealer, and be happy with it. Right? Yeah, like yeah. I don't think you have a lot of fold equity on that back dollar at that point anyway. Yeah. But I don't think it's worth like waiting for the river to get it in. You could you could just call and then and then shove the river, but. Um, that's just, in, right? Regardless. Get it in, yeah. Because what if what if he does have one of those spade draws? He's not going to call if the spade doesn't come on the river. He's only going to call if the spade does, and then you're losing. So yeah, yeah, I think I think you're right. You're going to lose sometimes, but you're blocking the kind of hands that you want him to not have. And I think in this player pool, they are going to be overvaluing those kind of hands. And so, so I mean, and so so when he when he the check. The check, oh, sorry, the raise back on the turn, mm -hmm. it screamed a big hand. Yes. So, so at that point in time, I'm, we're playing for stacks, right? Yes. And so, and I'm I'm committed to play for a stack, but flopping top two, I'm happy to I'm happy to get happy to get them in. I mean, but I I'm guess... also worried when, but if you made the stacks, if we were two hundred big blinds deep, right, right, does it change the outcome of the hand? I mean, you probably, does it change the outcome? I mean, as played, you, you still, you'd still the, check raise. You'd still check raise the flop, right? Yep. You, well, you would have squeezed pre-flop, I think, if you were that deep, maybe. Maybe that would have yep. changed the dynamic. But that wouldn't have really, no, because that just made it, that would have made him think that you had an even stronger range. He, he's yep. still going to have pocket kings. Yeah, I think you probably go broke anyway here, buddy. Honestly, yeah, even if it's two hundred yeah. big ones deep, uh, two hundred deep—that's a different story again because there's still a lot of money to lose. And uh, well, well, let's, let's say I've got a hundred big blinds left behind me on the turn. Right, 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 right. So we've 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 gone through about half our stack. Can you then call it off, or can you then tip the rest of it in? Or do you just flat, flat and see a turn? But what what turn? What what river cards are we not happy to get it in on? Yeah. Apart from space a, a and spade. an ace. Well, you don't want to see an ace either. Um, if you've no, got him on no. that ace king, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah I think we're blocking kings. We're blocking jacks. Right. The, the only the only set we're not blocking is eights. And he could have that for sure. Yeah. Yep. That's very natural. 
but I again, be, like it's just not as many combos. Yeah, Eric. I wouldn't be adding money to the pot, but um, it'd yeah. be hard not to call. Yeah. yeah. yeah and, then, not, and then, and then, and I think what ends up happening, Troy, is that you end up putting it in on the river instead. Yes. Honestly, because I, got, I don't yeah. think you fold. So either, even if you do call and you check the river and he puts the other half of the pot in, I think at that point you're calling on almost every river and some of those rivers have uh well no even a jack doesn't help you <laughs> no but but, even, uh, but if he not in particular on this hand right 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 right, right. right, right. but if the, but if the jack's helping if, if the jack right. hits yes in, in yeah, reality then, down, down here in australia i'm going to be fist pumping thinking yes. I'm not in yeah. that's right jack of spades please yeah <laughs> yeah but, no, I think um, I think you got. I think it was just a, a bit of a setup deck there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just interesting. Cool. It was just a, it was a hand that you, you wonder if. See, I liked what Eric thought there was that after the the clickback raise, you don't necessarily have to be the one putting any more money in. Yes. Yeah. Happy to call it down, but I don't necessarily need to get any more money in by my voluntary. I think that's a good point. Yeah, because he's showing a lot of strength there. And even though you're really strong, there's a lot that you can still it's get still... on the river. So, yeah, yeah. yeah and and then... it's, like, it's like that Andrew Brokus uh, example from um, playing Optimal Poker, too, where you're now in a position where he's got a polarized range. So when he makes that action, he's either bluffing or he's got a value hand. So you don't want to bet into that range because it allows him to just fold his bad hands and continue with the strong hand. So what you want to do is you have to check in that situation so that he is given an opportunity to bluff. And then you yep. have to decide, you know, okay. is he bluffing enough to make it worth calling or is he not? And then it's, it's yeah. a combo question, which, which I think is what you're kind of talking about here. So. And even then, I think you get it in. I think you get it oh, in yeah, on the yeah. river uh, because you're blocking all those top two pair combos in the sets and stuff. So, yeah, uh, I think if there if there were a third Broadway card out there on the flop, then you're much more hesitant. Yeah, because those Broadway two pairs or the three Broadway flop are getting beat by straights a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And it'd be some but better. I do, you know, I do better. like what you said, Eric. With the at that point in time, there is no point voluntarily. Yes. Again, happy to call yeah. it, but me just putting in whatever I've got left doesn't necessarily achieve anything. Yeah. I've got no fold equity. I've got anything. <laughs> there's nothing. Like it's going to happen one way or the other, right? But I don't need to voluntarily give him more chips after he's already told me what I, I have a strong hand as well. Right? Is, is that the way of looking at it? Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely true for the deeper stacks, right? Yep. Yeah, but wait, the game is designed to go broke every now and again, right? So yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Amen, man. Amen. Yeah. It's when the wife and kids go, what's wrong? What's yeah. wrong with that? What's wrong? <laughs> I call that the toe stubbing zone. I give myself <laughs> as long as it would take for me to mentally and emotionally recover from stubbing my toe really badly. I just got to take it. <laughs> I got to take it like 30 seconds or something and just go swear a bunch really loud. And then, <laughs> And then, then, then I can be a good sport after that. But like, God, there's my just, you, know, you, yeah. should, you should hear me out loud in the home game sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife upstairs can hear me sometimes. Yeah. Well, we're passionate. We're, we're, we're yeah. passionate lovers of this game, you know, like yeah. it's, it's uh, we're, we're, we're happy when we're happy and we're angry when we're angry mm, and we're sad yeah. when we're sad. That's how you know what you're getting with us here at Rec Poker. The, the, benef the benefit of online is you can get it out of your system. Yeah. And nobody knows you're on tilt. <laughs> <laughs> if you're doing it right. <laughs> yeah. In the home game, the, the, the river card paired the board and gave me the nut flush. Guess what? Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, when I was when I was first putting a bankroll together, this feels like a long time ago now on Poker Stars. I was playing the one penny, two penny cash games and grinding, like grinding it up. And I remember the first time I went to go take a shot up at five ten, no limit. Um, I I had like almost my entire bankroll at the time on the table, and I think I had ace two of clubs or something. And I know on the I had a flush draw, and then the turn brought. I think it was like the nine of clubs, but it paired the board. 
and I and I was like, oh man, I'm already spending this money. I can't wait to get it in with my flush here. And of course, he he had the force, yeah. and that was the yeah. end of it. But it was like such a good lesson for me as a kid. Like just don't put your stack on the table. Just don't put your whole bank roll on it. Whatever it was, it was like nothing at the time. But like I'd spent three weeks putting that up at Penny Ante um, Poker, and sometimes the nut flush just. Uh, isn't the best hand out there. What are you going to do? <laughs> damn it, God damn it. It's, it's hard to learn. <laughs> it is. It, it has to hurt, right? Like I yeah. firmly believe losing has to hurt or else we don't learn. Um, I don't anyway. Like I just get, I just make the same mistake again until it hurts. Um, so poker's good at, at that. <laughs> at, at Acevedo, and, and when we're studying in the book study, talked about that in one place. He said, play at stakes that you can afford to lose, but it still has to hurt when you yeah. lose. Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, it's just you don't take it seriously, so you don't learn the lessons. Um, yeah. That's why I'm so impressed with our home game crowd, uh, that it is play money, but I think people do really leave it all out there, and they, they treat it as though it's uh, more than just a, a bronze pin in the mail. Right? Yeah. All right, gang. Well, um, I really love the way we pulled all this together. Thanks for your feedback on the site. I love going through hands, so I'm sure we'll do more of that. Um, and Eric, I sent you an email today about uh, a study group coming up in August. Uh, let me know if you want to get involved with that. And otherwise, oh, okay. yeah, whenever, whenever the time is right. Otherwise, I'll just see everyone here another time soon. Thanks, Rec Nation. Take care. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Good see you guys again. Yeah. Have fun.